Well, hey everyone, this is Kim at The Able Gardener and I'm trimming my munchkin pumpkins because I noticed that they had started getting aphids on them. Now, as I looked around my garden, and I haven't been out here for a while because of the heat, as I look around my garden, I notice that there are more and more plants that are inundated with aphids, especially some of my squash plants. My zucchini squash, my acorn squash, and some of my pumpkins up front. And I think some of these plants I'm just going to have to pull out of the ground, especially a couple of squash and one of the pumpkin plants. I just need to get rid of it completely because the aphids have been on it so long, they've been sucking sap out of the leaves and out of, well, mostly out of the leaves. And what that does is leads to the plants being stunted in growth and also eventually killing the plant like it has a couple of my squash. So I'm working on my munchkin pumpkins right now. I'm just cutting off some of the worst leaves. What I'm going to be doing to get rid of them completely, I hope, is using some neem oil. So I'll shoot you over to my little table where I'm mixing up my neem oil and then I'll be spraying that on the munchkin pumpkins. And then I'll go ahead and spray some of the rest of the plants I have here. Some of the other squash that don't have aphids on them yet or maybe some that have a few aphids and then I'll spray them prophylactically to get rid of the aphids and have the aphids drop on the ground and die instead of killing more of my plants. Well hey everyone I've got you guys at my mixing table it's a little unsteady but I think it'll work just fine. I do have an empty brand new one quart sprayer I can mix my neem oil up in that uh, but I'm not going to today because I need a little bit more than a quart of neem oil. I also have a two quart sprayer. This is brand new. I just picked it up and I love these because you can pump up the pressure and then you can just push down with one finger. You don't have to be uh, wearing your trigger finger out on one of these sprayers. So I'd like to mix it up in this two quart, but I still think I need a little bit more. So today I'm going to be using my one gallon sprayer and I have it down here on the ground. Let me bring it up here. Now I had already mixed this up in my one gallon sprayer. I think this is going to be more than enough to spray my munchkin pumpkins, uh, my regular pumpkins, and the rest of my squash. So I'm going to set that back down on the ground, but I'll just tell you how I mix that up. Now if I'm going to use uh, either a one quart or a two quart sprayer, what I'm going to be doing is starting with one teaspoon or one to two teaspoons of neem oil. Now I've got a couple of bottles of neem oil here and it's 100% cold press neem oil and if you guys want to know where I got my neem oil I bought it a couple years ago from Gary Polarchik off the rusted garden I'll put a little link down below as to what Gary's website is so you can go to that and see how much his neem oil is but he was very reasonable and I still have I believe two and a half bottles left now what I'm going to do is show you guys how I mix up my neem oil for a, I believe this is a half gallon yes a half gallon sprayer We'll go ahead and mix that up. Now what I want to do first of all is just put some lukewarm or some mildly warm water in my, in my half gallon sprayer. Well there we go. I've got a half gallon of nice warm water out of my hose and I'll just show you how I mix up my neem oil for a half a gallon. And then what you'll do is just double that for the gallon sprayer. So I'm going to start off with one to two teaspoons of neem oil. And this is like I said the 100% cold pressed neem oil. Now what you want to do is pick up a dish soap that's, it can be uh, just a mild to even strong dish soap. Just make sure that it's not antibacterial. So no antibacterial, I just have a regular Dawn dish soap. So I'm going to start off with one teaspoon and see if it breaks up the neem oil that's floating on top of the water. So now I'm just going to shake it up a little bit with the dish soap in there and the neem oil and see if the dish soap has broken up those oil globules that are floating on top of the water. Actually, I can still see some little particles of the oil, the neem oil, floating on top. And I can even see it through here, through the spray. I can see a little bit of the yellow neem oil. So I'm going to put probably just another half of a teaspoon in the sprayer. And then I'm going to mix it up again. Let me look in here and see if the oil has broken up anymore. So that additional half a teaspoon of dish soap broke it up the rest of the way. So now I can go ahead and spray it out of this little sprayer. So now we'll get the lid on, shake it up again one more time, and then check your sprayer. Since this is a brand new sprayer, I'm just going to check the nozzle to see how much this sprays. Uh, maybe tighten it down a little bit. There we go. That's a good spray coming out of my sprayer. So now I've got a half a gallon mixed up. I'm going to go spray my munchkin pumpkins, so I'll take you guys over that way. Make sure that you put the lids on everything so it doesn't uh, spill over on your rocky table and spill out. 
Since the aphids have already started attacking my munchkin pumpkins, I'm going to go ahead and cut off some of the worst leaves. Uh, some of the leaves that have already turned in on themselves because the aphids have been sucking all the, all the juice out of the leaves. Then the leaves just kind of turn in on themselves and start to die. And it starts to kill the whole plant. Uh, not just stunting the plant, but later on the, the entire plant will die with so many aphids on it. Go ahead and cut those off. Now you don't want to cut off so much of the foliage that you're going to lose your plants that way. But on this munchkin pumpkin, I don't think I have I don't think I have that many leaves uh, just attacked by the aphids. It does look like it's doing fairly well. So like I said, before I spray, I'm gonna go ahead and cut back the leaves that I find that have quite a few aphids on the back of the leaf. I don't think you can see that, but there are quite a few on the back of this leaf. And you can see that the leaf is already starting to die. And on the other side of the leaves, usually you'll see something that's shiny and sticky. And that's just a substance that the aphids excrete. Now this isn't anything like uh, urine or feces or anything like that. It just comes out of the aphid's body as it continues to uh, drink the sap out of the leaf and also as it, as it goes through its life cycle. It excretes that, that sticky, shiny substance. And that's another good thing for the soapy water is you can spray that on the leaves. It's not only going to kill the aphids, but it will cut that sticky substance. And that substance is called honeydew. I don't know why it's called honeydew, but I don't like it on my plants. I want to get it off the leaves so that the leaves can start breathing again, and I want to kill those aphids. So I think I've got all the leaves off of my plant that I'm going to take for right now. So I'm going to get my little sprayer, and I'm going to start spraying the undersides of the leaves first because that's where most of my aphids are. Now another thing you're going to see on your leaves if you have aphids are just little white particles. What those are are just little pieces of the aphids as they go through their, well, as they go through their life cycle. They're going to slough off some of their uh, chitin or, or their scales that are on their back. They're going to molt and go through their life cycle. And those little white, well, little white particles, they look like little pieces of skin, but they're not skin. They're part of the aphid that just falls off. So if you think you have white flies, look again, turn your leaf over to see if you have any small creatures that are crawling around. Uh, they look kind of like really small green ticks. So look for them. If you think you have white flies, you probably don't. You probably have aphids that are sloughing off that, those white particles. And what you can do to control your aphids problem, if you've ever had one before or if you've seen aphids in your garden already, is just stay out in your garden on a regular basis. Come out every other day, every two, two or three days and check your plants for aphids. If you see any, go ahead and mix up some neem oil and get them sprayed prophylactically. And that's just getting them sprayed so that you're not going to have a really bad aphid problem like I do. Now that I've got my munchkin pumpkins all sprayed with my neem oil, what I'll do is I'll wait two to three days, come back out and see how the, see how the aphid situation is doing. Now neem oil isn't a fast kill insecticide. What it does is you spray it onto the aphids and then the aphids start to um, absorb the neem oil and also the soap. What the soap will do is dry out the aphids and they'll just die from uh, being dehydrated. But what the neem oil does is it will attack the aphids hormone system. So it's absorbed by the aphids their hormones start getting all mixed up and there are some hormones that aren't even produced. So without the hormones being produced by the aphid, it's going to forget to eat, breed, anything that your aphid's going to do to stay alive. It's not producing those hormones anymore, so it's not going to, it's not going to go through its normal life cycle and they will die and start falling off. You'll probably come out, you'll notice that the aphids are starting to die. What you can do is you can take your garden hose and get a little sprayer on your garden hose. I don't have one right here right now, but you can get a little sprayer hooked to your garden hose and get, get a fine mist spray, something with a little bit of strength to it though. And you can start actually just hosing off not only the neem oil and the, and the detergent off your leaves, that's going to take that uh, honeydew off of your leaves so that your leaves can start breathing again. But you're also going to start washing off those aphids and starting to see your leaves and see if your plant's still alive underneath all that. Now my aphid problem has gotten so bad, it looks like I've lost an entire sage plant down here underneath those vines. And it looks like they're also starting to get onto my eggplant. So it looks like I'm going to be doing a lot of spraying today. But just take a look at some squash that I had to pull out yesterday because they were just way too far gone with the aphids. So take a look at this. Now you can see on the underside of this leaf that this plant is just covered with aphids. I don't think any amount of spraying or any amount of insecticide is going to save this plant. The aphids have just been on it for too long and 
the plant is already dying. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this zucchini out. Now those were a couple of great looking squash plants when they were producing, but once the aphids got on them and attacked the plant, and with the amount of aphids that were on those squash plants, the plants were just gone. I had to pull them out. But now I'm in my front yard. I do have quite a few squash planted up here and they're growing. They're looking really great. I don't want the aphids to get to them. But that brings me to another thing that neem oil can do. If you saturate the ground around your plant, then neem oil also works systemically. In other words, if you, if you spray around the ground and then you water the plant, if you spray with diluted neem oil, it will soak into the ground and it will be absorbed by the plant's roots. And working systemically means that the neem oil will go through the plant, uh, through the vines, through all the stems and the leaves. And then once the aphids start to eat, that's another way that the neem oil can kill your aphids. So just like in a human body where you take pills and those pills work systemically through your bloodstream, the neem oil does the same thing with your plants. So I'm going to saturate the ground around this pumpkin that's left and it's growing that nice large pumpkin if you can see it right in front of me. I'm going to saturate the ground and that's with once again diluted neem oil and that way the neem oil can start working systemically on this pumpkin. Well you guys I'm just about half done spraying my gardens. It is getting warm out here and I don't want to spray my plants that are in the sun. So I may wait until tomorrow morning or maybe later on this evening when it starts to cool down. So anyway, you guys, I'm going to go see if there's anything I can spray before I go inside where it's cool. And thanks for joining me today, you guys. I'll talk to you later. God bless. Bye-bye.